in this video we're going to learn how to jump rope. There are two variations, there's a, the single under and then there's the double under. So for the single under, we're jumping and the rope goes uh, under your feet once every time you jump. For double unders, it's basically twice, two revolutions every time you jump. So to begin with, you need to find the right rope length. So when you put one foot on the rope folded in half, the handle should be coming up to your chest height uh, when it's folded. So if you're a beginner, it should be about chest height or a little higher. If you're advanced, it should come below your chest height. Alright, so single under is nice and easy. Your position should be nice and straight. You should be looking straight ahead. Try to keep your feet together or about hip with the pads, whatever is more comfortable for you. And we're going to have the hands in the peripheral vision. So that means when we're looking straight ahead, you want to be able to see your hands in the bottom right and the left hand corner of your eyes. Alright, so from there, single under is nice and easy. We're just going to skip. Put your feet together, jumping at the same time. These are your single unders. Most likely you'll be able to do the single unders. For double unders, there are many different skills that you can practice, but I'll teach you pretty much the most effective ones. The first one is the ropeless double under. So the ropeless double under is, uh, as the name suggests, you don't need a rope to do the movements. And it's actually one of the most uh, similar exercises that you can do instead of doing the actual double under in a workout. So, for the ropeless double under, you're gonna make a circle, or just maybe find a circle or a rectangle or a square on the floor. You're gonna stand within that zone, and you're gonna jump a little bit higher than you would for a single under. So this is your single under jump, and then for a double under, try to jump a little higher, and try to stay on the balls of your feet. Okay, so you'll have to keep going for rebound jumps. All right, so from there, once you have the stamina to do maybe 20, 30, 50, quite easily, we're going to add in another component which is double tapping your thighs. So that's the coordination aspect of the double under. So you need to jump and be able to double tap your thighs while you're in the air before your feet touch the ground again. So it's going to look like this. You're going to jump and double tap your thighs while you're in the air. So once you can do about 50 of these with a good position and good coordination, um, you can get back to the rope and start practicing your double unders. Okay, another good drill is to hold on to the rope on one hand and practice swinging the rope like we did as we were, when we were kids, right? Kind of trying to show off our double unders without actually being able to do it. So that actually teaches you how to engage your wrists. So swinging the rope on one side can actually help you learn the coordination aspects of the double under. So you can swing, practice jumping. And again, learn the coordination aspects of the double under. So ideally, you want to jump every time the rope goes past your eye level. All right. So once you've got your once you've got your ropeless double unders down, we're going to practice again. I would say begin with single unders, and then once you can do singles quite comfortably, once you've found the rhythm, try to go double, and then go for singles again. Double, and then singles again. So this is how, pretty much how you learn the double under initially. Once you can do one, maybe try and aim for two, and then three, and so on, until we can string the reps together up to five, 10, 50 reps, 100 reps. Okay, so this is your jump rope.